The NBA records are fun. It's cool to see some statistics behind the game of basketball. I love moments when players get to 10,000 points, 20,000 points. I love hearing who's moved up in all-time three-pointers list, even though I only hear Steph Curry's name. Records are meant to be broken, but which one is the most unbreakable NBA record ever? In most cases, people will say that it's Wilt Chamberlain's 100-point game. It's hard to disagree with them. Wilt took 63 field goal attempts that night, and it's hard to imagine NBA coaches allowing a player to shoot 63 times in today's NBA. Most teams as a whole average around 80 to 90 field goals per game, never mind giving 63 of them to just one player. The next closest player is Kobe, who scored 81 points in his game against Raptors in 2006. That night he scored 81 and took 40 shots. The thing with the points record is that all it takes to beat Wilt's record would be for somebody to get hot and the rest of the team would let him shoot the rock. That's a one game thing which in theory is possible. But the record I will talk about today in my mind is the most unbreakable NBA record ever because it takes years of grinding and staying healthy and playing on a high level. What's up guys, Purple Prince here and today I want to talk about the record that is the most unbreakable NBA record ever. This season LeBron James finally did something he had not done before. And if you've seen LeBron James play you know that there's not a lot of things he hasn't already done. Well, up until this season he had never played a full 82 game NBA season. In previous seasons he took some games off because of rest or some nagging little injuries. Well, this season he decided to finally achieve this one, and I'm glad he did. Playing 82 games is no easy task. It takes dedication, superb health, maybe a little bit of luck and obviously a good enough performance for your coach to want to put you in the lineup for all 82 games. But that was just one season of full 82 games by LeBron. Kobe Bryant played in 82 games 4 times. Michael Jordan did it 9 times. The mailman Karl Malone did it 10 times. But his partner in crime, John Stockton, did it a whopping 16 times in his 19 seasons. That's just unbelievable. Here's another unbelievable fact. From those 16 full 82 game seasons, in 12 seasons he started every game he played. That's just fantastic. John Stockton started his path to the record in his rookie season. He played all 82 games for Utah Jazz, albeit just starting 5 of those games. He was playing behind then Utah's number one PG, Ricky Green, and while Ricky Green wasn't necessarily that much better than Stockton, he was still an NBA veteran and a way more solid choice at the PG spot at the time. John Stockton played a full 82 game season for his first 5 years in the league. While the first 3 years Stockton was mostly coming off the bench, after that he solidified himself as a starting PG for Utah Jazz. His 5 season streak of full 82 games ended in 1990 when he did not play in 4 games, but after that he upped the ante and played 82 games, started all of those games for 7 seasons in a row. Before the start of 1997-98 season, Stockton suffered his first injury that would force him to miss some playing action. Stockton had been experiencing soreness in his left knee since the opening of Utah Jazz training camp. He had fluid drained from his knee and underwent an MRI to determine the problem which was a knee joint surface injury. Stockton underwent an hour long arthroscopic surgery on his left knee and was given a 6-8 to eight week rehab period. Stockton returned to the lineup after missing 18 games because of an injury and after a dozen of games of playing around 20 minutes per game teasing back into NBA grind, he was back to his regular self and played his accustomed 30 plus minutes afterwards. In 1998-99 season he played all games for his team, but the NBA season was shortened because of a lockout, so he ended up playing 50 games of 50 possible. With the lockout ending and everything getting back to normal again, he didn't suffer any more major injuries and played in all 82 games for the last 4 seasons of his career. Even at age 40 he played all 82 games and started all of them. That's magnificent. And he wasn't a slouch either. He still gave you around 11 points and 8 assists even at age 40. So in total, he has 16 82 game seasons on his resume. And if it not been for the lockout, he would have 17 full NBA seasons in his 19 year career. Just amazing. The closest to Stockton's accomplishment was AC Green, who has played 14 full 82 game seasons. 
but he never was the player of Stockton's caliber and sometimes he was put on the court just for two minutes to continue his game streak. The closest active NBA players are Andre Iguodala and Dwight Howard, but I'm pretty sure they won't even sniff John Stockton's record. Another big part of this record is just how important was Stockton's role. He was one of the team leaders and he showed up in almost every game. He has many more accomplishments and he is widely recognized as one of the best point guards in NBA history. Stockton's NBA's all-time assist leader with almost 16,000 assists. He's NBA all-time steals leader with 3,265 steals. The only thing missing for John Stockton's career is NBA championship. He did reach the finals two times, but both times Utah Jazz lost to Michael Jordan and Chicago Bulls, which is nothing to be ashamed of. John Stockton ended his NBA career with averages of 13.1 points, 10.5 assists and 2.2 steals. He never was an NBA champion, but he was the ultimate NBA Iron Man. What do you think guys? Can Stockton's record ever be broken? Is it impressive? Leave a comment below, like this video and subscribe for future NBA content. I'm Purple Prince and I'm out. Big bills, big bills. I fell in love with big wheels and quick thrills. My niggas running tip drills. Can't sit still. Don't give a fuck if it kills. It mixed well. I'm only counting big bills.